Going Brawless, Benefits and Beginner Advice The no bra look is a big trend in fashion and feminism these days, but is it really better than wearing a bra? Going braless is all about personal choice. We all love taking off an uncomfortable bra after a long day, but that doesn't mean it works for everyone all the time. The key here is freedom. Whether you want to wear a bra or not, you should be able to make your decision purely based on your own comfort and physical needs. There are plenty of harmful myths and attitudes floating around that may prevent a woman from doing this freely. Benefits, Comfort Even the best fitting bra tends to get uncomfortable after a long day. The underwires are a nightmare, and you're bound to have the straps firmly indented into your skin. The immediate sense of relief when you get home and take off your bra makes it clear that going braless might be the better option. In the long term, many women report that once they get used to going braless they have a greater sense of freedom and comfort with their bodies. Better Circulation Most women know the constricting sensation of wearing a bra for hours. This constriction can impede blood circulation to the chest and back, which can lead to aching back muscles. Better sleep. If you're one of those people who wears a bra in bed, you're bound to get a better night's sleep once you release yourself from that burden. Less boob sweat bras sit tight against the areas that perspire and the materials aren't always breathable. No bra means you may sweat less and dry faster. Skin health. As bras absorb sweat and dirt from the skin, they can cause skin irritation and even acne. Clogged pores in that area are no joke. Kill the taboo. The suggestion that there's something indecent about a woman's chest being too visible only confirms that female bodies are seen first and foremost as sexual objects. Going braless is a small step towards normalizing women's bodies and demystifying the female chest. Myths Underwears cause cancer There are many myths out there about bra wearing. This one has been circulating among the younger generations for a long time. The explanation was that the underwire blocks lymphatic fluid and can cause you to develop a tumor. There's no evidence that this is the case, and no studies have shown any connection between wearing a bra and breast cancer. If this is your reason for going braless, then rest easy. Myths, going braless causes sagging. Bras don't prevent the natural changes that occur with age, despite what many disreputable online articles would have you believe. Myths Going braless is promiscuous. This is a common concern among those who go braless for the first time. It can feel like everyone is going to notice immediately and think you're hoping to attract attention. Tips for beginners Going braless is a one-step process, take off your bra. Unfortunately, it's not that simple for everyone. Here's some advice for those who aren't fully comfortable with the idea but want to give it a go. Start small. It's often the idea of stepping outside with no bra on that can be the most intimidating. Try it out at home first so you can get used to the feeling and appearance. You can ramp it up in small phases. 
Next could be a brawless coffee run, or a morning walk with a dog. Eventually you might feel brave enough to wear a brawless outfit on a night out with friends. Try a bralette first. Bralettes tend to be lighter, wireless versions of bras that have little or no padding. It's a good middle ground if you're not ready to go full nipple yet. Focus on your posture. If you rely on your bra to provide support for the weight of your breasts, improving your posture can help. Better posture relieves back pain and reduces the need for a bra support. When you're sitting in a chair, make sure you have back support. Keep your feet on the ground, your forearms parallel to the ground, and your shoulders 